What's up traders, Marco here from elementaryfx.com with another trading journal day. Okay, so basically we are going to review all the open and closed trades we did today and this week or last week. I want to start from the latest one, okay, which is the USD CHF Garley, which is this one, okay. Uh, I placed it uh, 30 minutes ago. Okay. Basically, uh, last week we spotted a uh, garlic right here. But I actually did a mistake uh, posting and executing the trade, which is this one. Okay. I actually did a mistake on leg D. I just used 1.164 retrace instead of 1.618. All right, as you can see here, leg is actually deeper than the other, and with the result that I literally lost uh, three 15 pips. All right, uh, as you can see, price went down. Okay, and now price here is reversing because pattern basically is here. Okay. So I have lost basically 15 pips for free because of my mistake. Okay, said so, let's move on. Okay, GPUSD was the second one I lost today. Um, basically, uh, I didn't actually uh, read uh, really much about news that happened today basically um britain government or whoever said that announced a uh, nearly um, election announced nearly uh, earlier elections and market reacted really crazy with that okay so uh after after that news market spiked up for 160 pips all right and seeing a double top all right which is this one and also with some pretty nice consolidation right here seeing a double top i said i want to go down and for the retest all right but unfortunately uh price really didn't go in my way and keep kept rising it all right we are actually on at a maximum of how much is that around 390 pips of a spike rise in like a couple of hours all right uh, I think I won't trade this credit for maybe one or two weeks because it completely uh, broke the structure and i really don't know how it will behave okay i really wanna uh, let him do something and see later okay but now i lost 50 pips in the trade okay so we basically are in negative 65 with this uh wrong card lay and this basically fundamental trade okay USD CAD. Uh, this trade is still going. I wanna uh, show you show you it later. USD yen is still going. USD is still going. This one we closed minus. This one is still going. Okay, which is the same. And those ones we talked about last week. So. Let me show you the trades that are still going, starting from Euro USD. Okay, so basically, Euro USD. This was a trade from last week. We traded basically this candle, and also we traded the channel touch right here. Okay, we said okay, big people are pointing up because of the channel touch and I want to get with them so I waited for a retrace and went long initially my two, 
my take profit was around here. Okay, it was around 40 pips. 40 pips trade. Okay. Then, when the price reached this point, I just moved to break to break even and waited to to go higher. As also, as I mentioned on the weekly video, I said that we are on the fifth touch and we wanted to focus on 0.5 or 0.618 which is right here okay on these people levels let me reverse that okay so we want to focus on those two levels and maybe go short for a breakout all right so we actually went long for that and we are in 92 pips profit at the moment and still rising i'm gonna let it uh, run until this level okay until 0.5 and the extension of the current swing okay that feeble level is the extension of the current swing i want to reach that level see how price will react to the level if i see some really hammer or doji candles i probably close it okay and nothing we are currently 93 pips profit right here still not closing euro yen oh let me let me let you see the trade of euro usd that was the trade okay playing with beat sharks it's called okay that was the original uh, risk reward ratio 40 pips and 33 and 33 stop loss okay so if i let it run okay as you can see price almost went to stop loss didn't touch though and then start rising uh, as you can see i'm updating daily my trades uh commenting update moving to take profit when price was here price reached feeble levels stop loss move to break even could test re orange could test lower orange support for upward moving and i still keep them updated okay euro yen that was a pattern we spotted where is euro yen euro yen euro yen no this no this was usd cad euro yen garley pattern this one okay so we spotted a huge pattern that's a daily pattern all right with completion right here right here 67 stop loss pips we managed to get a nice stop loss based on leg peaks as you can see we barely stay in that and we are actually 110 pips in profit with that still we have a long way to go okay i'm focusing for first this level and we'll see what to do here okay on that uh, sorry for that on that level there are around 200 pips for the first target all right so this trade is still going there is a lot of time yet to be completion 110 pips right now and let's move on usd cad okay that was uh, another trade i took today basically um i wanted to trade the retest okay for the channel breakout basically this is the channel of like two couple two weeks ago price went down touching lower lower channel retesting it gaining some more strength for the breakout okay i was here and i saw the channel breakout all right this candle and i said cool the price is gonna retest it and then going higher but 
but anyway it just fucked up again reaching 0.5 people level and now I think it should drop down for some retests okay when price will drop down I think it will reach at least this feeble level so it, it will be fine our risk reward ratio is still one one to one or more than one okay or maybe I will, I will just close it in break even when it will reach right here I don't know I still have to think that about it but still we are uh, 23 pips in draw uh, which is going down so I'm really confident with that at least in a break even okay USD yen USD yen we we actually spotted a channel touch right here uh, last week okay we entered a bit early because I thought that was the touch okay so we entered a bit early price went down rise up and now it went down retesting the channel touch all right as you can see price created a head and shoulder pattern and I do expect uh, an uprising at least to 0.5 people level on this one which which there is a really nice resistance level and then I will see what to do with that pair okay but for now we follow our rules uh, we spot uh, touch okay which is this one even though we enter the bit here and we focus on the opposite side which is here if everything goes good oops. if everything goes good there will be how much is that how much is that let's say around 300 pips profit okay for just 117 pips of stop loss risk reward ratio okay uh, I'm still confident with that uh, everything seems to go in a wrong way okay it just takes it just needs some time to set up okay next one is USDCHF the trade I missed okay this was a bad calculation of the pattern okay Basically, uh, I mistraded the pattern on 1.164 instead of 1.618. Okay, uh, this is the level of one, the right pattern. Okay, I'm giving him space to the leg X, which is here. This is the leg X, and our stop loss is right below it. Okay, so maybe in three or four hours we might see price doing that. Okay, reaching this safe area, which is leg B. Okay, this is leg B. And after that, maybe reaching the bottom of the channel. Okay, as you can see, this is the pattern. All right, this is the pattern. We entered on leg D, which is right here. We focus on the safe take profit, even because it's been bearish for a long time. So we want to focus on the safe, on the take profit. I really don't expect price to hit uh, take profit two and not even close to take profit three. I really want to focus right here. As you can see, price went down. Okay, triggered the pattern for lots of people, and now it should spike up. Okay, it should. It's not really concrete. Anything is concrete in forex, but it should. Okay, said that. Uh, I have to say we have to close the day in negative 65 which this one is minus 15 and this one is minus 50 total minus 65 but we have some really nice uh, 
trades going. The one with Euro USD with 100 pips. The one with Euro Yen 110 pips still going. And the others are turning back into break even. This one, this one, minus 40, minus 30. We still have some really nice profits for the days. Okay. That's everything for today. I'm Marco from elementaryfx.com. If you have any questions, uh, write a comment down in the video or contact us through our site elementaryfx.com. That's everything for today. See ya traders and good luck with your trades. See ya tomorrow for another trading journal. Okay, bye bye.